on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> While Alabama lay in the back of a Danville saloon, unconscious from a knockout blow from one of Steve Bradford's men, rustlers drove off Sam Carter's entire Red Horse herd. The following day, Steve Bradford rode over to the Red Horse Ranch and told Carter he had seen Alabama in the saloon, drunk. Mr. Carter has ordered the boys to stay at the ranch, although the boys feel that Alabama needs help. They're still waiting for new orders from Mr. Carter and only Arizona can find anything to do to occupy his time. Don't you ever get tired of picking on that guitar? Oh, well, I'm nervous. I always play when I'm nervous. Funny that's all you can think of doing at a time like this. I'd be careful there, Idaho. You've almost whittled the leg off of that chair. Well, Bob, if you don't quit walking back and forth in the same spot, you'll wear a hole in the floor. I guess we're all so jumpy we don't know what to do. Not a word from Alabama yet, I suppose. Who's there? Just me. Oh, Tenderfoot. Come on in. You've been talking to Mr. Carter again, have you, Tenderfoot? Yes, he still seems to take Bradford's word that Alabama was in that Danville saloon drunk. Well, that makes it look mighty bad for Alabama. If I could only tell Mr. Carter why Alabama went to town, he might understand that he wouldn't think of drinking. Then you didn't tell Carter about the letter Alabama got in Danville. No, maybe I should. I can't help thinking that letter has a lot to do with Alabama's being gone, though. How do you figure that, Tenderfoot? Well, if Bradford happened to find out about Alabama's having that letter, he might not stop at anything to get it away from him. You're sure right there, Tenderfoot. If what that letter said is true, it could make things plenty hot for Bradford around here. Oh, I had no business leaving Alabama in Danville, even when he told me to. Him following Bradford into that saloon, I wonder if Bradford knows more than he's telling, Mr. Carter. I'd bet my right arm he does. I wish I knew. Did any of you boys ever see Alabama take a drink in your life? I never I did. Know. You know the answer to that as well as we do, Idaho. Uh, Tenderfoot, is Bradford still up at the house? Yes, Bradford's still there. Say, Arizona, strike a chord there. 
I think I know a song Bradford might like to hear. Might give him ideas about watching his step. Down on the levee, levee so low. seem right for us to be sitting here singing when we ought to be out looking for Alabama. Well, Carter's told us to stay here, and he's boss, you know. If we just tell Mr. Carter about that letter Alabama got in Danville... Seems Bill. like that's a little late now, Tenderfoot. Oh, maybe so. Bradford's been talking too much. Seems like that varmint can talk a fella into anything. Well, what's got me worried the most is Red, Alabama's horse. Yes. Coming in this morning with all them whip marks on him. Marks. Someone's had a hand in that. Yeah. Well, of course, if Alabama was drunk, like Bradford said. But Alabama wasn't drunk. Well, Get that out of your head, Tenderfoot. Right. Well, if something don't happen mighty soon, we'd all better start out looking for Alabama in spite of Carter or anyone else. Yeah, but somebody's got to stay here with Rose and Mr. Carter with all the dirty work that's going on around here. Bradford's up the house. He'll take care of them. Next hombre that mentions Bradford's name gets this boot wrapped around his neck. Don't stop singing, Tex. I ain't talking to you. Tonight I'm so blue and so lonely My poor heart is aching with pain I'd give this whole world if I only Could bring back my old pal again You left me to find life short alone We fought them since childhood days the way seems so dreary since you are gone Why did they take you away And leave no one to comfort me My buddy, buddy, buddy My pal, I know you'll be happy In the bright land across the divide and I know that you'll ask old St. Peter To save me a place by your side You left me to find life all alone We fought them since childhood days The way seems so dreary since you are gone Why did they take you away And leave no one to come Well, I'm through waiting. How about the rest of you? Yeah. Yeah. Drop that guitar, Tex. We've got work to do. Come on, Slim. You coming, Tenderfoot? You mean we're going out to find Alabama? That's right. Oh, of course I'm with you, but shouldn't we tell Rose and Mr. Carter? They'll find out soon enough. Come on. Yeah, let's get go. to your horses. We're riding for Danville. Yeah. Whoa, Wait, come boys. Come on. Man. Idaho, Bob. Wait a minute. Now. Pull up, boys. Oh, boy. We might as well have it out with Dad. But I gave you boys instructions to stay close to the house. I'm well, sorry, Dad, but we've got to find Alabama. Well, you'll not bring him back to this ranch. Oh, Dad, huh? please let them go. We may be wrong about Alabama. Oh, don't stop them. I reckon there ain't nothing that'll stop us now. Well, why not let them go, Mr. Carter? Brandon. They'll find out that what I said was true. Don't bother yourself none, Bradford. 
We're taking care of this. I wish I could see it like you do, but after what Steve said and, and knowing that Alabama was in the Mr. saloon... Mr. Carter, if you're going by what Bradford told you, me or none of the rest of the boys are believing it. Well, sorry. all right, all right. You've got a right to what you think, Idaho. But if you don't believe me, you might just take a look down the road there. Hey, oh, what is, what's 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 oh Dad! Dad, it's Alabama. It is Alabama. Now we'll learn the truth about this. Well, where do you suppose he got that horse? Oh, Alabama. Alabama, Alabama. are you all right? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Hello, Rose. I'm mighty sorry I had you all worried. Why, Alabama, you look... Well, where have you been? You mind taking care of my horse, Bob? Bill oh, Johnson loaned it to me to ride out here. Have you seen anything of Red? Red's here, Alabama, but we didn't expect you back. Why, Mr. Carter, I... Look at you. Been lying in the back of a dirty saloon all night. Then you know about of this? Of course we know. Bradford's told us everything. Drunk, while every last cow on the Red Horse Ranch was driven off the place. Why, what do you mean? The herd's gone? Uh, it's them rustlers again, Alabama. What? They made their way with them last night. Everyone. We couldn't seem to put up much of a fight without you here to lead us. But that couldn't have happened. Steve, Why? would you please take me back to the house? I don't want to stay here. Oh, yes, oh you here, Bradford? You've got a lot of nerve. I don't know what you're talking about, Alabama. Too bad you fell down on the boys and dead. Now, come on, Rose. Thank you, Steve. But, Rose, don't go. Well, listen, Mr. Carter... Don't I even get a chance to explain what happened to me? One look at you explain where you've been, Alabama, and what you've been doing. I never tolerated drinking. Mr. Carter, you've got to listen to me. I've listened to all I want to. As soon as you can get your outfit together, I'll ask you to leave this ranch. But, Mr. Carter... That's all. I'll be up the house if any of you want to see me. But can't you... Well, boys, what have you got to say about it? Bradford told Carter that you was drunk last night, Alabama, mm. but we're waiting to hear your story. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. right, Alabama. Well, I was in the Danville Saloon last night. Yes, I told him that. I went in to see what I could get out of Bradford. Fred. I made the mistake of going to one of the back rooms with him, and I guess he had a little too much help that oh. I wasn't looking for. What happened? What happened? Well, one of the boys must have slugged me from the way my head feels. I had a notion it was Bradford's doings. We know you're telling the truth, Alabama. Bradford's up at the house. I reckon we'd better go up and work on him Come first. On, yeah, let's Wait a minute, boys. That ain't proof to Carter that Bradford was lying. I reckon there's only one thing for us to do. What's that, Alabama? Well, we won't have much trouble trailing them rustlers with the herd, will we? Well, we can run them down whenever you're ready to head after them, Alabama. Well, I, for one, am riding out after them cows this minute. And I ain't setting foot on a red horse ranch again till I catch up with them rustlers and bring every snorting longhorn right up to Dad Carter's door. Are you with me? All right, boys, straddle your horses and stretch. Let's get them. Good luck, boys. We know that you'll bring them back, and we know better days are coming for all the folks on Red Horse Ranch. Be in tune when the Red Horse Ranch is again on the air. Thank you.